Christ 17 TV, baby, what's poppin'? Today we're gonna talk about the infamous story of the fat farm. It's a little crib that we used to all go chill at, hang out at, trap out of, fucking spend a night there, take a broad there. We did it all there. It's just basically that spot. It was named the Fat Farm by my home, by one of my female partners, the RZA. She named it the Fat Farm because the two, the two bras who lived there in the crib were humongous. They were mad big, mad fat. So she named it the Fat Farm, the Fat Feezy. So let me tell you a little story about the Fat Feezy, okay? There was, there was an older man who lived there, right? And his son came down there to live from San Jose, right? Real, like, type bum dude, you know what I'm saying? He, he thought he was a rapper. He thought he, you know what I'm saying? He thought he was a whole bunch of shit, but he was a bum. He's a straight bum dude. He's the type of dude, take your doobies from the ashtray, all kind of little sneaky shit, right? Real sneaky shit. So... We kept having bags of weed coming up gone. Dimes, like little bags. Because we have a little few bags inside the drawer. It'd be like six bags. Next thing you know, you go to the store to grab a blunt. You come back, there's only five bags. And you know, you've been drinking, you've been smoking. So at first you're like, damn, did I smoke that? I don't think I smoked that. So after a while, man... Motherfucker started going into the to the other dude's room who stayed with one of the big broads in the back. So they had a change cup, right? So now the change is coming up gone from the cup. You know, because if you're stealing weed, you're going to have to need something to smoke out of. So now you're stealing change so you can go get you a fucking swisher or a fucking little drink because he was an alcoholic dude too. He, He's just a real bum, freeloader, J-cap motherfucker. So, he just kept taking little shit like change, a little bit of weed. You leave a half a blunt in the ashtray. You fall out of sleep. You wake up, your half a blunt is gone. It's just like starting to get out of control. So, the dude who brought crib it was, I told him, like, yo, you let him steal money out of your room, bro? I know the little doobies, the roaches, is one thing. But money out the room, that's a whole different fucking animal. So, I ain't gonna lie. I fucking instigated the shit because he was, he was taken from everybody here in the house. Yo, my boy wrote a, wrote a blunt. Took a piss. Came back, his blunt was gone. Lee Joe, you remember that shit? Your shit was gone, bro, like this. He was a fast thief, like, super quick. Like, if Flash was a thief, that was him. Quick thief, his hands was quick, he was in it and gone, and then he would just disappear. You don't even know where the fuck this kid went. So one day, he went in to dude's room again, took some change, and that was the last straw. He took a bag, he took some change, he was doing this shit for like a month. So finally, me and my folks took a walk to the store. We chopped it up. We had been drinking a big-ass bottle of fucking Rossi, a big-ass bottle, the fucking jug. So we talking about this shit. So we, so we said, when we get back, we're going to confront this dude about all this fucking shit coming up gone. You know what I'm saying? Because that shit's starting to add up. A dime bag of weed here, a dime bag of weed. You do that shit ten times. That's a hundred dollars. So this shit ain't going on. So we get back from the store. We're drinking and drinking. So this dude ain't even here yet. So he gets there and he goes right into his dad's room. But at first he's trying to hit our drink and we like, nah, yo, we cool. We cool. You ain't drinking nothing. You ain't got no dough on it. You're not drinking nothing. So he go in the room. So we start to talk. We sit. 
We're sitting at the table and there's not too much Rossi left, right? So we pour our little cups. We drink the Rossi. And we're like, yo, let's go holler at him. So we go in the room. And, bro, when I mean he punched this dude so fucking hard in his fucking face, it was like he fell on the bed, boom, and sprung back up. It was like that. Boom, boom. That's how hard he punched his ass. He fell to the bed, bounced his head off the bed, came right back, hit him again. When he fell, I cracked him with the Rossi. Boom. When I mean, when I bust his shit with the Rossi, like three times, boom, boom, boom. Then... Another dude came inside the crib who had shit coming up gone too. When he seen him, I'm not even exaggerating. You ever seen in the movies when they run and they dive through the window? Well, the window was all the way up. It's fucking summertime. This motherfucker dives through the blinds, through the window, in the driveway, tumbles, it is all like in one fucking motion. He dove out the window. Somersault got up and hopped the fucking fence. I mean, I've never seen something so fast and so quick in my motherfucking life. So now his dad comes back and he's like, yo, what's going on? I explained I explain her to dad like, yo, he's been stealing. He's been stealing all month from everybody here in this fucking house. You know what his dad said? And, and the cold part is. This was on a Sunday, and his dad had just came from church. I felt bad because I liked his dad, but I did feel bad for him. I just felt bad for putting his dad in a fucked up, you know what I mean, little spot. Like, man, it's my son, but you know you can't steal, and you're stealing from everybody here in the fucking house. That's just one story from the fucking fat farm. I got so many stories from the fat farm, I probably have a whole fucking series of stories from the Fat Feezy. You know what I'm saying? But yeah. That motherfucker got what he deserved. He was the house thief. He stole from everybody. I'm talking about shit was coming up missing left and right. But boy when he punched that motherfucker. Boom. His head went back on that bed. Sprung back up. Boom. Started cracking him at that bottle. Bam. 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 Oh boy. Came in the house. He's like. Oh. Hold him. He heard that voice and he dove through the window. I mean, when I say dove, I mean, he didn't touch nothing. But the blinds, like he went through the blinds, hit the floor, somersaulted, hit the fence, and we ain't see that dude again. His daddy had to pack his bags and take him all the way back to San Jose, man. So that's just a little story from the fat motherfucking farm. The resident gave that house the name because of the two big ass broads. Who stayed in the crib. That's just one of many to come from the fat form. I got some more for the fat form for your ass. So I'm going to catch you on the motherfucking flip side. It's Christ 17 TV. Like, subscribe, share, and leave a comment. And what you think about the Yankees had? That shit fire, baby. Look at the fish jumping out the water. New York Yankees, baby. Catch you on the flip side. Christ 17. Like and subscribe, player. Eat your heart out, Pimpin'.